Hello guys, T Reaper here, and today I'm gonna go over the Lansing area high school football playoff picture. Now that there are five teams that have officially clinched a playoff spot in the Lansing area because there's been six games and you need to win six to clinch. And some five win teams get in. So I have a few categories here. So you have the clinched category. The win one more and they're in for sure. Serious contenders are basically three and four win teams that I don't see them missing the playoffs. Because either they have a really easy schedule the rest of the way or they're just that good. Then you can lose one. But you're already 3-3. Three and three. So, you can't clinch if you lose one. But you can still get in if you lose one. And then you have the can't lose, which is the two win teams. And they have to win out to have a chance to make it. They can't clinch. And then you have the eliminated category. That's pretty self-explanatory. So, in the clinch category, we got Portland. This team's just unstoppable. I mean, they beat DeWitt. They beat Lansing Catholic. They have two tough games left in their schedule. Let's see how they fare out. We got Puamo Westphalia. This team's really good. Potterville forfeited against them. So they had to schedule a new team, and they still beat them 49-8, and they're 2-4, four, or 4-2. Forgot who that team was. Then we have Olivet. They're really good. Mason's really good. That's one of the tough teams left on Portland's schedule. They're both 6-0 and right now. And Fowler. All five of those teams I just mentioned are 5, I mean 6-0. and PW still has to play Fowler, too. That should be a good game. And these two teams have to win one more game to clinch a spot. And those two teams are Lansing Catholic and Fowlerville. Lansing Catholic's really good. They were one point away from beating Portland. Then you have the serious contender category, 4-2 and two DeWitt. One of the teams Portland beat. East Lansing also beat them. So that's a really serious contender, and East Lansing's also in the serious contender spot. Holt is also a serious contender. They're also 4-2. and two. Those four teams are in the CAAC blue. I don't see any of them missing the playoffs. Williamston is 4-2. They're really good. Then we got Lanesburg. They're pretty good. I think they almost make the playoffs. Now Perry. They're 3-3, three three, but they've got a really easy schedule. they got Bath. Well, let's see. They have Leslie, and they have one more team they play. I think it's Stockbridge, but I could be wrong on that. But they're going to go 6-3. Then we got St. John's. They're four and two. Now you can't lose one. I mean, you can lose one, but you can't clinch if you lose one. So Sexton, they've still got Lansing Catholic left. I don't think they're going to win that game, but they've got Lansing Everett, and they've got Lansing Eastern. The winner of Sexton and Everett is going to make the playoffs at five and four. You can't clinch at five and four, but you can get in at five and four. Waverly, they're three and three, but here's the thing: they've still got Dewitt, Holt, and East Lansing left in their schedule. They can only drop one of those games if they wanna make the playoffs. I don't think it's gonna happen, but you can prove me wrong. And you have you can't lose. One, the last one can lose one. You've got Everett. They've still got... Uh, who do they have left on their schedule? I don't know, but it's one of the tougher teams in the blue. Then you have the can't lose. These teams... I don't think any of these teams are going to make the playoffs this year. But who knows. You've got Ionia. They're 2-4. and four. they got to play Portland. Not going to happen. Lakewood. Two and four. They're gonna play all of that. Not gonna happen. Bath. Two and four. I think they sell PW left on their schedule. Not gonna happen. Middleton Fulton. They're two and four. Not gonna happen. Eaton Rapids. They still got Mason left on their schedule. Not gonna happen. Leslie. Perry. Not gonna happen. Grand Ledge. 
DeWitt, not going to happen. Dansville. They, I don't know much about them, but they're 2-4. and four. Out of all the teams in the can't lose category, they have the best chance of making the playoffs. Then eliminated. There's always next year for these teams. You've got Hazlitt, which I think they were in my top 10 at one point. Now they're eliminated. You got Okemos. You got Charlotte. You got Saranac, Stockbridge, Lansing Eastern, and Potterville. These are all teams in the Lansing area. I think Lansing area is one of the stronger divisions out there, one of the stronger areas out there. You got the CWAC, which is very, very good. You have two teams in the CWAC that are still unbeaten. Two teams in the CMAG that are still unbeaten. And one team in the Greater Lansing that's still unbeaten. So that'll wrap up my video for today. I'll do my power rankings on those teams later this week. Peace out.